And this way it sounds quite okay. Yes! Now it's grooving much better. Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. I've never actually seen a Boogie Boogie pianist show you on YouTube the creative process behind molding your own Boogie Woogie lick from an initial idea. It's very interesting, I will show you. Um, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, it helps my channel a lot. If you want more Boogie Woogie inspiration, check out the info box, uh, for example, my free Boogie Woogie course and uh, some Boogie Woogie pieces. Let's go. So I want to give you the opportunity to follow me being creative in Boogie Woogie. Uh, how do we start? Well, it's good to have a starting idea and I thought, well, there is this uh, lovely lick uh, by Professor Longhair in your length piano, uh, the theme of uh, Big Chief. It's this one. So, and I thought, well, I like it, but can we use it for Boogie Woogie and what can we, uh, how can we use it or modify it to fit into Boogie Woogie. That's the idea. Let's check it out. We being creative in real time. Now, first you want possibly, uh, you possibly want to know what this lick consists of. I'll show you briefly. So we have this. If you go to play this. Here. And. It's usually in B flat, but um, now first we have a look what uh, sounds kind of New Orleans and it's not boogie like. F of course, we have this uh, rumba thing here. You usually know this uh, also. And with this kind of bass. Anyway, this is not boogie like we want. Uh, we need a straight rhythm. So we might start with this one and see where we're going. And, but stay with me, we're trying all sorts of crazy stuff on top of it, like... Uh, <laughs> it's coming up. So, okay, now we're having... Um, and we have this thing in the middle. This is kind of indicating uh, a D minor and this... Uh, for boogie, mm, nah, nah, nah. That's uh, that. It doesn't really work. So gotta be, gotta watch out to play the. Uh, if, that we do not play the A or the this thing together. That is not indicating D minor. What we can use is yes. We know all the mechanism in boogie woogie and blues to circle the E. Yeah, we have that. That is very So, we can keep that bit. Um, and uh, we got to make it possibly a little bit punchier. This um, uh, this thing is uh, f the original is out for like uh, for flow. But there are not really boogie woogie edges in it. Now, what could we possibly do? I, I would just experiment a little. Uh, already not so bad. I play it um, when you, because we played later on here, okay? Because. Um, here we have everything in sight. So, of course, it sounds punchier than uh, all this boogie stuff if we played up here. Now, okay, so we could um, try to accommodate. Like one of those uh, power generators. One of those that kind of sounds kind of rockier. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Yeah, we could also like... So, it, that always works to make a boogie rockier. So, and this one to make it clashier, you know, that to give it bite. Or, we could also, instead of just play this, okay, hold on, hold on. So we play the whole F chord, the borrowed F chord. Okay, you saw how, how I was progressing eh? from. So we could maybe uh, accommodate a couple of more rolls. Um, let's try this one, keep this one. Okay, let's this one, try, try this one. Okay. Usually I tell you a secret when we musicians we practice we try to find our licks they start to roll and to groove after only after a while so um, I'm, I'm definitely not yet grooving because it's got to settle down in the system in the muscle memory that it becomes round. Where was I? Oh. Sorry. Now, okay, we could, um, up here would sound Why not? In F it would be the same and then we just have to pay attention to the E flat. Eh? Uh. Ah. Okay, let's do, okay, we have it. I wanted to stay on C only that we can develop, but this sounds great. So, we're, um, Do the same, but very beautiful common thing in boogie going here up to the F. It deserves a better left hand. It deserves a better left hand. So, um, this is the uh, Northern Germany standard left hand, the middle of the road left hand. But uh, let's see what it sounds like if we play. It rolls a little bit more, huh? But I have I have one in su a surprise for you. That's the only thing I prepared actually. It's uh, it's because uh, I was testing it already. Let's play it here. Uh, 
And this is the old, I think it's by Pine Top. It's not, of course, not the Pine Top's boogie, but I think it's a, uh, the left hand by Pine Top. You know what? I did a tutorial on this one. Subscribe here so much for you to, to see, not my face, but what I play. And that's not even to see, to hear and to see after all this video. Okay, it's this one. Do, do, do we on C. Now let's try what we just discovered um, uh, over this one. Uh. I like this. I must say I like this. Yes, you have to learn both sides left and right now, but then you have a great sound. But it's not about you playing it, it's about me being creative and you're just watching me. Um, so, sounds also great here. It's a warmer sound. Yeah. Now, okay, let's see if we can be a bit more creative. I would try all sorts of things. Like I would play it here, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not rolling. Ah, uh, uh, it's not rolling yet, but okay. So we play this in the middle. Okay. Now it starts to roll. What did I do? I used now uh, a new uh, idea like of, um, you have a kind of a statement here and an echo or uh, like uh, whatever. Uh, call and response if you want so. Okay. Uh, and now, what is it? That's a C diminished. That's very old school boogie. And here we play this and we play a inversion. And now we dissolve it into the C. Nice, nice brass section on top. Do, do, bam, bap, so. Nice! I like this. I would possibly play this. So, but what about uh, if we just, um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we could either put this, uh, oh, don't like it. Don't like it, don't like it yet, don't like it yet, don't like it yet. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. So 
that's 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 what you do. You you come to things that are not good, and maybe on a good day you arrive at something that you actually like. Um, what did I do? Um, Yes, I like it, but that's tempting because it's so mainstream and always popular. But since this is quite edgy uh, and uh, not so mainstream, maybe it it's, has a consoling effect if we play like oh. This way it sounds quite okay. enjoyed this one um, and you feel inspired that is actually my main aim that you feel inspired to try yourself be a bit creative and not just copy paste what the great masters like me <laughs> and Albert Emmons and P Johnson are uh, playing um, see you my next one bye bye don't forget to subscribe don't miss out a video bye from Berlin <laughs>